Day two of the week continued with the time cricket format and at Saks, one of the oldest schools in the country, Bordeaux won the toss and went into bat against Gauteng. Opening batsmen were Siam Tanda Zini from Ntamben Konyana Senior Secondary and Akanya Rebe from Hudson Park. Zini went out for a duck, caught by wicketkeeper Cameron Shackleton of the bowling of right-arm seamer Wesley van Espey. And a few balls later, Rebe was dismissed in the identical manner. Matt Dewar from Selborne College was the only top-order batsman to get to double figures before he too succumbed to the withering Gauteng bowling attack, caught by Shackleton off the bowling of right-arm mid-pacer Tumelo Yeki. Luke Dallas, coming in at number 7, managed 15 before being caught by Bryce Parsons off the deadly bowling of Jeppy Boy's left-arm off-spinner Gaudise Molefe. Molefe then proceeded to take another three wickets in short order. Baulise Tuniswa was LBW for just one run. Luvo Nsekwa was caught and bowled for a duck. And Anda Duda caught in the slips by Bryce Parsons, also off Molefe. It was all over for Border in the 26th over with a total of 66 runs. Top run makers were Dua, Dallas and tail ender Sesetu Mayase. And Malefe once again did most of the damage with the ball, with the Jeppy boys off spinner taking four for 19. Ably assisted by Wesley van Espey and Tumelo Yeki with three wickets apiece. Openers for Gauteng were Cameron Shackleton from St. Stithians and skipper Jacob Miltz from St. David's Marist in Ander. Shackleton notched up 20 runs or 13 balls before being caught by Siam Tanazini off the bowling of Luke Dallas. Mudiwa Chanakira came in at number three and was caught by Ander Duda for just four runs off Luke Dallas. Miltz knocked an impressive 70 runs before being stumped by keeper Emitle Nkoki of the bowling of Nona Leila Yika. By the 42nd over, Gauteng had racked up 201 for the loss of nine wickets in this innings. Top run makers were Miltz, Bryce Parsons and Emmanuel Motswiri. And Luke Dallas did most of the damage with the ball, with the Hudson Park left-arm spinner taking four wickets, with the others of the top three being Matt Dewar with three wickets and Under Duda taking one. At the Ronnebosch Boys High Oval, Northerns won the toss and went in to bat against Western Province. An early scalp for Tando Antini was this outside edge to keeper Aaron Smith, sending Ludwig Kaysner to the pavilion for no runs. Musa Twala came in at number three and he and Modiri Liteko had a productive partnership before Liteko was stumped by Smith off the bowling of Gaishina for 44 runs. Twala was caught in the slips by Sheena off the bowling of left arm slow Jordan Collier for 33. Dion Forrester and Simus Duploy had a good partnership before Forrester was caught and bowled by Collier. Duploy had a great innings, knocking a six and six boundaries. Top run makers were Madiri Liteko with 44, Simus Deploy with the Afi's left hander knocking 71 runs and carrying his bat, and Jandre Skirpers with 67. Northerns went to lunch with 290 on the scoreboard for the loss of seven wickets in 65 overs. Top three province bowlers were left arm slow Jordan Collier with three for 53, and Tando Antini and Guy Sheena each taking a wicket. After lunch, Province got behind the crease and top batsmen were Justin Broad with 90, Tando Antini with 31 and tail ender Guy Sheena scoring 18, with Province ending the innings with 199 for 7 wickets over 56 overs. Best three Northerns bowlers were Dion Forrester taking 2 for 25, 
Sebastian van Rooyen took two and Ludwig Hessner took one. With South Africa due to host the Under-19 Cricket World Cup early in 2020, we asked Victor Mpitsang what he thought of the standard of players at the week this year and how they're preparing for 2020. This year's quality has been very good. I've been happy with, um, with the, quality, the standard of, of the whole tournament. And uh, as you said, I mean, it's, for us as selectors, uh, we have the two-year process. And I always talk about the two-year process because it leads us into the Under-19 World Cup. So every, every, every time we work with, uh, we identify players at Under-16, and then we, we sort of get to know uh, cricketers. What helps us about this week, though, is also we see the growth in the players and what they do under pressure depending on what's happened in the past. So very happy with how things have, have, have stood out. Uh, some good performances for, for some players that have played for the South Africa under 19 side. And that's what you want to see. You want to you want to see those players come here and really show the standard of what international cricket is, which is the under 19 level. So very happy how things have gone and hopefully it will finish off strongly. At Bishops, Eastern Province had gone into bat against KZN Coastal, with the top three run makers being Tristan Stubbs with 69, Heinrich Lebrandt scoring 52, and LJ Dupria with 35. Right arm seamer Joshua Brown took three for 34, and the others of the top three were Carl Hurness and Stephen Naidu with two wickets apiece. Opener Caleb Pillay knocked 69 before being caught off the bowling of Nicholas Fowler. Fowler also caught and bowled Robert Koenig for 16. And did the same thing again to Carl Hurness for zero runs. And here's tail ender Leifa and Tanzi being caught in the slips also of Fowler for no runs. Top three with the bat for KZN Coastal were Caleb Pillay, Priyala Naidu and Hayden Rousseau. But the main honours go to left-arm off-spinner Nick Fowler from Grey High with a haul of seven wickets for 37. The other wicket-takers were Sipasitle Madlongorwana with two wickets and Ethan Frostler with one. Bowling conditions was definitely a spinner's track today. Um, Seamers hit the deck hard, but they, they got tired. The heat it was terrible today. It was very hot. Um, it was definitely a spinner's day today. We stuck to our plans and it just worked out today. For me, I varied my pace a lot as a spinner. I bowled a couple quicker ones and a couple flat ones, and it just worked out today. It was my lucky day, and yeah, definitely a spinner's track, as I said. Today, we obviously lost the toss, went into bowl first. It was hot, tough conditions for the bowlers, but they obviously came through. They managed to keep us down to a low score of 211, and then I think with the batting side, we could have done a bit better. We could have, we, our top order should have stuck through and batted a bit better. Free State won the toss against Mpumalanga and elected to bat. Top run scorers were Calvin Flanagan from St Andrews Bloemfontein with a fantastic knock of 110. Chris Kleinhans from Grey College scored 73 and Ruan Cronier from St Andrews made 33 not out. Free State ended this innings with 290 for the loss of seven wickets. Top performing bowlers in this innings were Helmut de Prier from Hati S. Middleburg taking 2 for 45. Tepiso Magagula from Malikutu School took 1 for 30. And Jacques Fosler from Wurskul Nelspreit took 1 for 39. Here's Mondi Makungu bowling at Helmut de Prier and de Prier is caught by Delano Williams for 12 runs. This is Lorato Makwena facing Chidiso Keshwa and on target fielding by CP Kleinan sending Graham Bauer to the pavilion. Jacques Fosler aiming for the boundary, but a great catch by Albert Lekoana off the bowling of Keshwa. Lerato McQuena facing Kleinans and is bowled for no runs. And Arno Kruger with an outside edge to keep her Ghana Tar off Ruan Cronier. And the same thing happening to Fahim Nomani, this time off the bowling of Brian Kershaw. Graham Bauer from Hurskul Nelspreit was the best performing batsman for Mpumalanga with 26 runs. 
Wally Mohammed Vayani from Cambridge School scored 22, and Arno Kruger from West School Middleburg scored 15, with Mpumalanga ending this innings with 101 all out. The best bowling figures were by Brian Kershaw with the Grey College left-hander taking 3 for 10. Ruan Cronier from St Andrews Blum took 3 for 13, and Mondi Makunku from Hate S. Louis Boerta took 2 for 31. Uh, I think we did very well as a team. Um, good batting performance by Carol Flanagan and CFPO Fainhouse. They um, had a massive partnership in the middle of this one. We were, I think, two down after 30 yards. Um, but yeah, if it wasn't for that partnership, we never would have been able to go for the outright win. Unfortunately, we lost. It. Well, not lost, but we only need one more weekend. But that was a good game. I think it was played well. At the end of each day, a player is selected to receive the Coca-Cola Hero of the Day Award. So Coca-Cola is a brand that believes in unearthing real talent in our country and also just creating platforms for young talent to actually showcase their skills and talents. And with that said, that brings us to the Coca-Cola Kaya Majola Cricket Week, which is one of the most prestigious ones for under-19 uh, young cricket players in our country. We've seen over 85 uh, pro tiers play through this tournament, which is a great achievement. Yeah, um, we played bowler today, so I opened up open the bowling today, so it was quite turning. So I decided to hold an end. No one will come outside. I just rule the end. So I took first innings. I took four wickets, and then second innings. I took three wickets. So it was a quite a good day for me in the office. It took me a long time, you know, to to change my game to be a different person when it comes to bowling. You know, um, because it's important to, to come to the party to represent the country, so it's important for me you know, um, to change my game, to understand what kind of person, what kind of fool I am. Yeah.